right here right beside it is the adapter. So this adapter takes five pins as input from the LiDAR and those lines are the PWM line, the ground line, the uh, transmit and receive serial signal lines, and the 5 volt line. And on the other side we have a micro USB and 5 volt power input. So here is where we'll connect the power adapter to to power up the LiDAR and here is where we'll connect it to our microprocessor or computer. Awesome, so let's take a look at the LiDAR itself. So here's the LiDAR. As you can see it's pretty compact. It's actually only 76 millimeters in diameter and it's only 41 millimeters in height. So it's very compact and it's also very light. It actually only weighs 190 grams. Um, so this LiDAR specifically uh, can gather 4,000 samples per second and it has a typical spinning frequency of 600 RPM. It also has a scanning range of 8 meters. Now if that's a problem for you and need more uh, range, there's a variation of this which is the RP LiDAR A2M6 and the M6 version of this has a 16 meter scanning range and this one only has 8 meters. So depending on your application, you'll pick one of those two variations. Um, another cool feature of this LiDAR specifically is that it features OptMag technology. And OptMag technology is a wireless power and optical communication technology that allows this LiDAR to have a much longer uh, life. It's, it spans for much longer because uh, traditional LiDARs have a wired connection to transmit information and that gets worn out as it rotates around. But since this has a wireless communication technology, uh, that issue doesn't exist and it lasts a lot longer. Now the other cool thing is that SlamTuck actually provides the SDK, the firmware, and the ROS packages required to integrate this LiDAR directly into your application.